Hey guys, what's up? Zombie here. Um, sorry, forgive my voice. I'm still getting over being sick, so my voice may crack a little bit. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to do a video today on shoulder exercises for if you're recovering from an injury. Uh, specifically for if you're recovering from an injury and have like shoulder pains and your shoulder feels weak. Not what it used to be. I have gone through this before because I was an, I used to be an arm wrestler. I used to compete in tournaments all the time. And I have dislocated my shoulder before. I put it back in myself and I continued doing my work for the day when I was doing construction. Not a good idea. But some people <clears throat> have actually requested for me to do a video on what workouts you can do to help with your shoulder pain. To help build up those muscles around it so that you can do more with that shoulder still. And not be held back by it as much. Because... Honestly, it will be something that will stick with you if you're having a permanent shoulder in injury or a permanent issue like if you dislocated it, you might have damaged something and it might just be permanent, but you can at least work around it and just know your range of movement so that you're able to do still. And before doing any of these workouts, I do suggest you go see a doctor because I'm not a doctor. Full disclosure, I'm not a doctor. I'm just, uh, I guess, I was a ar uh, pro arm wrestler before. That's my only qualification that I can give you for uh, shoulder work, the, for listening to me with workouts. Because we used to work shoulders a lot. We used to focus on shoulders a lot. <laughs> but yeah, basically, go see your doctor and see if you can do this range of motion, if these workouts are safe for you, because they most likely these workouts are safe for you, but it's good to go check anyways. Go see your physician. Okay. Okay. So basically, if you've had a, various injuries in the past, then you know that it's going to be weaker. It's not going to feel as strong as your other shoulder is. For me, it's my right arm. It doesn't matter which one it is for you. Um, but there's a few basic workouts that do work out your shoulders that you can do with very light weight. I stress light weight. Leave your ego at the door. Just forget your ego. Do lightweight so you don't hurt something because you're trying to build up smaller muscles here. You're trying to build up your muscles so that you can so that it can support your joint and hold everything in there tighter. You want to support that. So that's why you're trying to build up the smaller muscles. You're trying to build things up properly. So we're going to go over different kinds of raises and we're going to go over um, rotations and lifts. So I have four workouts for you guys basically. And... To, if you want to hear any of this information from someone that's probably a lot more qualified, go to Athlean X. Uh, he has a channel also. Yeah, Jeff on that, he knows his stuff. Jeff knows his shit, I'm telling you. So, Athlean X, um, I'll put a link in the description below to his channel because he knows his stuff. But I learn a lot from him. He's been on there for years. That's who I go to to learn this stuff. Okay, well basically... As you can see, or whichever side it's going to pop on over there, maybe. Um, my wife is going to show the workouts. First, she's doing the side lateral raise. That's basically where you're going up to the side. And do not rotate. If you start doing the rotation in because you start feeling more of a burn up here, no, it's going to cause long-term... It's going to cause long-term damage. Because... You don't want to work your rotator cuff while you're while you're moving sideways like that. We'll do a different workout for the rotator cuff. Different workout that's safer. That's not a natural range of motion to do rotations in. And you're going to hurt yourself. And don't try and like force it backwards either behind your head. Just go out to your side. It's fine. If you're a little bit forward, that's fine. But you see how she's doing the form? That's how you do it. Just do it slowly and controlled with a light weight. Very slowly. Because if you try and rush weights, that's when you start speeding things up. That's when you hurt things. It's not about how fast you can pump out the, the reps. Just do it slowly and controlled, and that's what builds the best muscle. Sometimes if you're doing lift, and you go down halfway, and then go back up, that's also another good way to keep your body guessing, and then help build up a little bit of extra muscle. So keep that in mind also. Lightweight, slow repetitions. Doesn't matter how many you can do. Just remember, form is everything. Form is everything. Doesn't matter if you uh, what you lift, how much you lift, if you did it wrong. 
because you can hurt yourself with one rep. It's very true. Keep it lightweight, under 10 pounds, guys. So, this is if you're recovering from an injury. Remember, under 10 pounds, maybe under 5. Depends on how bad you hurt yourself. Okay, moving on to the next workout. Um, the front lateral raises. This is also working on the this area of adults. The side ones work more right here. Uh, the mid area. And the front is more on the... I can't do it because of this thing. But... This going straight out, straight down. And you can also change which area it's working if you keep going up and then stop and then go down. But let's just focus on going out and then going down. Keep it lightweight. Control your movements. No jerking. No pushing it up really quick to try and jerk it up. Slowly raise it up. Slowly raise it down. I can't stress that enough. Control it. You're going to hurt yourself if you don't. Any doctor will tell you this. Any doctor will tell you this. Use very light weights and control your movement. And this is something that you do for several, for a few sets. Don't push yourself. It starts hurting. Stop. It starts hurting. Stop. Because pain in a joint is different than muscle pain. And you don't want to screw it up more. Okay? I got to stress that. Safety. And I've gone through years of my, of uh, shoulder pain because of it. I can't do um, overhead shoulder press anymore. I just can't do it. I screwed up my shoulder. So don't do that. Um, next one, guys, we're going to do ro the rotator cuff. This is what I did a lot to make sure my arm is going to be strong enough for arm wrestling. Because that's what you use a lot you use a lot of your rotator cuff you want to make sure that you're not doing it when you're out here don't be doing it like that don't like push your arm back ever for it because the joint it's naturally set in an angle where um, if you're a little more forward that's the natural position of it that's the natural position of your joint your arm is comfortable in there don't be forcing it back because you're just grinding your joint it's going to hurt you it's going to be bad for you so just keep your arm out front or a little bit off to the side and that's when you do your rotation. So grab the weight, slowly up, slowly down, slowly up, slowly down. For an alternative, grab a cable, hold on to it, and then pull it down, go back up, pull it down, go back up. Keep it really lightweight, under 10 pounds, slow repetitions, very slow, controlled. Okay guys, next one. Um, well, the raises. So doing the raises, basically military press. Um, you can do it free weight. You can do it with uh, dumbbells. You can do it with machine. Either way, just lightweight. Keep it slow because you're trying to work on building up some muscles. And you don't if you have an injury. That's why you're looking at this video. So basically, keep it slow. Think about it because if you start to feel bad pain, I can't do that workout because it just kills my shoulder and then I can't move my arm for like a week so think about it okay because um, that's working that's probably the best shoulder workout but it does put a lot more stress than anything else now key thing don't put it behind your head don't do behind the head bar it's bad your shoulder joints are not made for that the joints aren't made to go for that kind of range of motion for a natural uh, movement no keep it just in front of your head up, go down now don't go behind your head because you're hyper extending that joint and it's going to wear down it's going to hurt you and you're going to be in a lot of pain for a long time for years you're going to be sore and you're going to it's just going to wear down on you don't do that because it might not take one year for some people it might take a little longer at some point it's going to hurt it's not good for your joints you're going to mess it up it's almost as bad for you as doing uh front Oh, the, the front uh, row, the upright rows, which is a very bad, it's a bad thing for you to just do that as a workout altogether. It's bad for your shoulders. Don't do it. Don't do front, front, lateral, uh, front lateral rows. It's bad for you. Okay, guys, that was the workout, or that was the video. I gave you my advice. Um, like I said, my only credential is basically that I was a professional arm wrestler and we focused a lot on shoulders and I've had shoulder injuries in the past as well. I've dealt with them, I've worked through them, 
and hopefully I can help someone out there and not make the same mistake. I do suggest you go see a doctor and a physical trainer first before you do anything like this. And go check out his channel, because Athlean X, because the guy really knows his shit. I'm telling you, he is good at what he does. He's great at training people. He trains a lot of the big sports people. He trains a lot of baseball teams, a lot of athletes. He knows injuries, probably about as well as anyone else. Okay, see you guys later. Tell me what you thought. Um, hopefully I help someone out there. See you later.